Welcome to Channel A Mac, your insight to the Australian visa system. Good day everyone, my name is Carl Young, your online YouTube visa consultant. Are you interested about migrate to Australia? Why don't you consider to subscribe to our channel and turn our little bell on the side right there? And you'll be the first one getting all the inside information. Now, this video, uh, I would like you, uh, I would like to take you uh, into the act, the new one double A business innovation visa with a category one double A eight. Generally, it's a, uh, a visa allows a business entrepreneur to actually be qualified with their uh, background and then obviously establish a business in Australia in order to uh, transfer into a permanent resident. So let's take a look into the actual changes and updates. It's interesting. Um, and a lot of people is actually waiting for all this. So as you can see, Today is the 1st of January 2021 and the new policy is taking effect right now, right today. So, and the, the whole system of immigration at the moment is under maintenance and upgrades. So, uh, you cannot really lodge anything. And obviously, you know about business innovation visa it require to be state nominated and sponsored. But at the moment, none of the state had actually opened their presence at the moment. Uh, anyhow, let's go into the federal requirement criteria by the Department of Home Affairs. So uh, the web page now, the only changes is right here. Uh, previously it was four years. Now they are giving uh, the uh, temporary residency visa to be up to five years. Uh, I checked it with the, um, the requirement to to actually transfer into triple eight, which is permanent residency. Now, unfortunately, the uh, that triple A visa page has not been updated yet. But let's look at how you can meet one double eight visas nowadays. Um, looks like the fee has been a little bit increased, and unfortunately, the uh, processing time is extremely long. Uh, well because of the COVID in 2020 and until today is not even solved yet. So a lot of the uh, backlog and um, uh, things required to be resolved before everything can be moved on smoothly. Now, the um, let's look at a little bit of a brief uh, right on top of me. OK, so you must OK, you must score uh, at least 65 points. I provide proof of business success. Uh, it's the same as usual. You and your partner together have total business and personal asset of at least 1.5 million compared to previously require only 80, 800,000. So that's uh, almost double of the requirement of your assets. Now let's look into the legibility and we will take a look at the new updated uh, point table for the business innovation visa. Okay, eligibility. Now, obviously, first thing first, you need to be nominated. So at the moment, you cannot lodge anything because no state and territory is actually open. And I believe they are all busy fighting against the virus at the moment. Uh, now, business ownership. So for two of the four fiscal year meeting before you receive invitation. OK, and you can nominate one or two. This is cannot do three. OK, and it require. Now, let's look at the after required to demonstrate that it has a turn annual turnover of more than 750,000 for the past two years. OK, uh, the two years within that full past four years. And if uh, the the business is uh, turns over less than 400,000, you require to hold uh, you know, a share to be above fifty-one percent, or perhaps a lot. Most of people will be here. Thirty percent is enough. Uh, if you, if the business is a public listed company, uh, you'd require to hold ten percent. That ten percent is huge. It's huge. But uh, if you are that kind of person, you probably won't 
pick one double A A two for your preferences. Anyway, uh, if your business provides professional, technical, and trade services, you must have spent less than half of your time uh, doing those businesses and management in general managing. That means you cannot be a sole trader, solely making all this money by yourself. So, uh, you may be a very profitable lawyer, for example, and, and you own your law firm and you have, you know, very limited staff. That 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 won't mean the requirement. You you're required to be at the seniority stage of your business, whereby half of the business generated uh, operations are from your staff rather than yourself. So uh, that's just a, a distinguish. Uh, some people might be a doctor uh, owning a clinic, and he he or she is the own sole. Uh, person making all the profits, then that cannot meet a requirement. If you own a clinic that has three or four um, doctors working there, and uh, they are all um, they they generated more than half of what you generate, uh, then you meet that requirement. That's what that meant. Okay, uh, own personal business and asset. Now, okay, that included business assets and also your personal asset, and that including you and together with your spouse or your partner. Okay. Now, previously required to be eight hundred thousand. Now it's jacked up to uh, one point five million dollars. Now, due to the um, uh, the the all, all, all the price increase and things like that over the past ten years, I, I don't think that would be too hard to actually be met. Uh, if you don't even have that, how can you do business uh, in the future? Okay, the funds available to transfer to Australia within two years. Obviously, if you migrate, you know, of of course, you want to transfer the fund over. Okay, now score sixty five point one. I'm 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 take you to the uh, point table very soon, and you have a successful business career. That means uh, you do not have any uh, business close down, shut down, under admin, um, bankruptcies, and things like that. So, uh, but if you voluntarily um, terminated. There's a question here. I, I got asked before. If you voluntarily terminate a business, does that count as a, you know, unsuccessful? I, I, my answer is no, because the business is outdated. You 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 shut it off, but you open up new one. As long as that previous business does not attract any, um, uh, un, what should I say, unlawful uh, activities. Uh, and was shut down by third party, for example, government, uh, like bankruptcies, then you'll be fine. You know, I have a business; it was successful. I make enough money, and I um, switch it off, and I transfer into another new business. That's fine. That's fine. That's not a problem. Okay, you gotta be under fifty-five, and no history involvement, unstable activity. So that, and you you might want to have functional English. Otherwise, you can pay a second. Installment and do your health check and character checks. Okay, so as long as you're a good person, healthy, no problem. Now let's jump into the points table. Now it's a little bit different nowadays, so um, let's get into it. Okay, age, um, 18 to 24, you get 20 points. 25 to 32, you get 30 points. 33 to 39, 25 points. 40 to 44, 20 points. 45 to 50, 54, 15 points. 55 or older. No points now. Why do they put order here? Because uh, all of these visas, if your age is more than fifty-five or older, uh, you you still can be exempt or waived, provided that you you gen you 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 inject or invest furthermore, and to meet the requirement that the that particular state or territory government. Uh, is willing to sponsor you, so that's why it's called it's putting older there. But you get zero point there, anyhow. Okay, English. If you do vocational English, you get five points. You get proficient. That's um, IELTS seven. Now vocation is five, uh, and proficient is seven. Okay, so I get ten ten points. Now education qualification: trade diploma, bachelor degree. Um, Recognized by Australia is five point. Now, if you do bachelor or above, but in the discipline of business, science, technology, okay, and, and obviously um, recognized by Australia, 
and you get that additional 10 points okay you get that 10 points now financial asset this all, all of above is all same as previously now the uh, financial asset now this is different now so uh you your you hold business and your personal asset uh in total together between you and your spouse or partner okay in the preceding two years now, so these two years has to have all of this you need to prove that um 1.25 mil you get you only get five points okay 1.75 you get 15 points 2.25 25 points and 2.75 million uh, you get 35 points so that is a little bit of increase i recall previously this was um 800,000 and move on the top one was 225 2.25 now they the top one is 2.75 uh, and that that reflects to um, the um, uh, business people nowadays so I, I think that's very fair now business turnover for the past two years okay uh, 75 uh, 750,000 you got five points 2.25 15 um, points uh, they see they, they they still require to change this <laughs> they, they got one dot there that's not right okay 1.75 million you get 25 points 2.25 business turnover and you get 35 points i think that's that stays the same okay now so for business innovation that's one double eight a okay uh if you have been operating business for four years you get 10 points seven years for 15 points that's the same uh and if you're an investor if you've been you know putting in yourself uh with uh investment eligible investments uh and not less than four years and not less than seven years so that's the same 10 points and 15 points uh business innovation qualifications so if you have design patterns and things like that you get 15 points trademark 10 points uh, now trademark uh you gotta you gotta be sure that it's an international recognized trademark so some people because registering a trademark is quite easy if it's only locally known uh it's not you, you know you're, you're not going to score that 10 points it has to be internationally recognized uh and uh, ownership in one of the day-to-day -day participation of management one of one or more bit more business operate under formal joint venture uh, no less than one with the um uh obviously with a strong business uh not less than one year i think of five points uh ownership interest of main business derive no less than 50 percent from export trades okay so you get uh, that 15 points there um an ownership interest in interest on business no more than five years before an average annual growth turnover will greater than 20 percent per annum three continuous fiscal year in at least one of the three years employed 10 or more employees uh, that was at least total number of hours uh, been working by 10 full-time employees wow interesting so that's that's a new stuff so if you've been employed a lot of people and 10 people uh, you get you, you get that 10 points there uh, ownership interest and main business that receive a grant of a government buddy from Australia of 10,000 to face startup or a VC of 100,000 uh, for more than four years you get that 10 points special endorsements now normally the state or territory government agency has determined your proposed business is unique enough for them to actually provide you that additional 10 points so now summarize uh, so one double a a uh generally has increased its um uh asset requirement from eight hundred thousand to uh 1.25 i believe uh and and the required trading um turnover has also been increased as well so uh, that's as far as we have known and i i think it's fair it's it's not a major increase it's not double things like that uh so again that's all good uh what is your thoughts now make sure you, you know uh turn on the bell for the subscriptions and we'll have more updates as we have seen or all, all the other one 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 double b one double c s i v and the one double e m and also the upcoming update for the triple a permanent residency category as well and i see you in the next video goodbye